Today's episode, how to make a wall flat, plumb, and waterproof, and easy for tile installation. It's called floating. Ready for a treat? Don't, don't go away. Stay right there. It's coming toward you right now. This is what you'll be able to do, a flat, plumb, waterproof wall after this video. This is aquabar paper. This is what you'll put up first. Let's staple it to the wall. Next on the wall is this wire right here. When you're stapling this, go like crazy, man. Put as many as you can in. You want to keep this wire nice and tight. The staple gun right here is lightweight and it does the job. It's just sweet. As I'm stapling, I go around and check the wire. I pull on it. Uh, if you got an inch past the wall, as you pull it, it's it's too much. More staples. As you can see, I'm adjusting my hawk flat trowel to get it ready. Put this mud on the wall. Tools needed to do the job. Hard trowel. I recommend it. Man, these things are awesome. From floating to setting tile, all in just Flip the switch, change the blade, awesome. What you see me doing is called floating. It's, uh, I'm using fat mud, it's cement, lime, and sand, a four to one ratio. And I just start at the top and I work down. As I apply this fat mud, I'm just working my way down the wall. And I, you got to use some pressure here. Firm, steady pressure with your flat drop. What you see in my hands are called float strips. I'm going to put them in, insert them into the mud, left and right. And then I'm going to take my 72 inch level uh, with a hammer and hit my level to make the wall plumb and flat along these sticks. I'm just tapping and checking to see if it's plumb. You have you gotta have about a half inch of mud on the wall at this time thickness. So what I'm um, doing with this uh, metal edge is it's called rotting the mud off. So once my sticks are in place, I can um, get this mud off the wall just by going a, a seesaw method back and forth, cleaning it off and just, uh, it just takes the mud off the wall. And I repeat the procedure for the valve wall and the other wall. I just start at the top and work down. And that's a half inch stick on the side there. As you're putting this mud on the wall, it's just a, a firm, steady pressure. You know, just, just to fill up the whole wall with an even thickness. Like I said, about a half inch of mud. That way you got room when you're pounding your sticks. Now if there's any humps, it, it, you'll have plenty of room for the stick to be um, plumb and flat. Interesting fact, back in the day before backer board and wonder board and all these boards, uh, this was uh, called mudding the job in. I would be called a mud man because of the fat mud I'm using right here. This is uh, the very beginning of the tile trade right here, this method. Metal, good, ready. 
Cool. No slag off. Real time and flow. That board or table uh, uh, fat mud's on that I'm tapping the metal edge onto, that's known as a, uh, what is that thing known as a, uh, come on, short term memory's gone, mud stand, that's right, that's a mud stand. Another little trick I do is I'll take one of those quarter inch strips, float strips, and I'll put it along the wall here so when I'm rotting the mud off, and I hit that back wall, I don't um, indent the mud anyway. It's a bumper strip. Back in the day, I would even use a hammer. I was trying to be so cool and tough, I would just use my hand, but over the years, you know, that was a stupid thing to do because it kind of messed up my hand. So now, sometimes I go back, but use a hammer. God, I love it, man. I'm working up a sweat. 52 and still doing it. You know, I, I made that comment because right about now I'm about out of my mind. I've been working in here for a little while and the heat is like about 120 in here. Outside is about 100, but this mud, when it starts to set up, it generates heat and the guy had no AC, no fan, and I'm dying right now. <laughs> You know, this tool I'm using, this metal edge, you don't need a metal edge to do this. Anything that's straight and stiff, a piece of wood, a level, it's just these, this metal edges right here, what I got my hand, and you probably picked this up at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot, or just go on the internet, they're called uh, metal straight edges. It makes it easier, but you really don't need it. All my tools you can get at Home Depot, you don't have to buy the expensive ones. If you're going to be a homeowner in one shot, just get the cheap ones. Right now I can see the end of the tunnel. I mean there's light. I'm starting to fill in these strips. This is kind of like the almost the last procedure. Just take a little fat mud on your hawk there and just put it in the void left by the strips. Pretty simple. Almost done. Yes. Time for a class. The tool I'm about to pick up is a wood float and this helps you to smooth the wall especially the main thing is when um, you fill in these, these strips you tendency to leave a little mud there and it creates a hump in the wall so just take your time and if this mud is too loose and you're digging in stop just wait for it to set up a little bit when you when you touch the wall it should be firm but not loose or too hard remember the the, the heat it's going to dictate how fast this mud sets up and this mud was setting up because I said in this room it was about 120 degrees that day so if it's too loose stop but don't wait too long no when you use this wood float just keep it perfectly flat to the wall firm light uh, firm light pressure works the best the reason why I'm cutting these called cutting this uh, mud away from the stick so when I pull a stick away it doesn't tear the mud all our hard work's paying off look at how flat and smooth this wall is I'm just continuing to fill up these strips 
There's a little mud on my little hawk there, and putting it in. But if you look at that black wall, man, that thing looks smooth and flat. And if you watch these videos and, and rewind and just see the techniques I'm using, you too can achieve this. And I'm telling you what, when you go to set your tile, there's nothing easier than a flat plumb wall. All your cuts stay the same. Your tile is trial your thin set and it just stays flat. I mean, you don't have to pull off the tile and butter it. And with that back of board, you get some humps and bows and it's a pain. Uh-oh, here comes a bunch of classes. Pay attention when you see this classroom. Here we go. Or this could have a hump in here. A hump when you put a, a, a two by four in and put the sheet lock or board. Sometimes you have humps. Here, you might have to floor to make it perfect. Because if you try to stick tile around here, this is hump. It's a pain. Especially big tile. down the throat. That's a lot of work before you put your board on. Plane out the studs, plumb up the studs, add a little fiber in there. That's what I've seen some guys do, but I just pay the line for it. I get it plumb and flat. All is super flat. So, you learn this? Happy. You will be happy. It's tile setting. This is, this is the foundation. You make it flat, you have no problem. You actually just flow. You can actually see the wall getting smooth and flat as I'm doing this. I'm using my steel trowel to just make it even smoother. See your uh, wood flow would kind of leave a rough finish. And then I take my steel trowel and I just make it smoother. Just, you don't want any humps. So all this procedure I'm doing is to make this wall flat. And it is. It's going to be a dream. If you're doing this procedure and you're digging in the wall, stop and let the muds get a little harder. Yay, I'm all done. Right now, I am so beat. I'm just happy. Look at this job. Sweet. And you can use a wheelbarrow to mix your fat mud up in. And four to one, that means four buckets of sand, one bucket of lime, one bucket of cement. Just use the same container to, to do the four to one. Uh-oh, there's a subscribe button. Man, that thing pops up all over the place now. Do yourself a favor. Hit, hit it below. Come on, it's right down there. Just hit subscribe. You don't want to let, be left behind, do you? Man, these, these videos is going to get better and more creative, more awesome, more unique, more amazing. Do I have to keep going on? Just hit that subscribe button right down there. You see it? Hit it. You don't want to be left behind, do you?